Hey Wildcats, I'm Ava and these are your daily announcements. Model UN will be having a Chick-fil-A biscuit sale on Wednesday. Biscuits will be $4. Pelican Snowballs will be here on Thursday, February 22nd during all lunches. All proceeds will benefit the AP Art Show. Amelia Earhart is considered to be one of the most famous missing people. Earhart is a record-breaking aviator who disappeared during an attempt to fly across the world. Earhart's disappearance has been a mystery for everyone. However, recent news shows that Earhart's plane may have been found. After 87 years of this mysterious case, a South Carolinian, Tony Romeo, CEO of Deep Sea Vision, believes to have found Amelia Earhart's plane. Deep Sea Vision has captured a sonar image of the ocean floor that resembles an aircraft. The imagery was taken roughly 100 miles away from Howland Island, where Earhart is rumored to have crashed. As of right now, this is all the information they have released. However, Romeo says he hopes to explore more within the next couple years. The company plans on either sending down underwater robots or attempting to pull up their findings. So, what do you think? Is this the famous Amelia Earhart's plane or just some undersea debris? Congratulations to Model UN, who competed on Saturday, February 10th at the Midlands Conference at Dutch Park High School. These are the following awards. Catherine Boyce won Best Resolution, Tyler Poole won Best Negotiator, Matthew McCormick won Distinguished Delegate, Peter Wynn won Most Diplomatic, Abigail Vega won Most in Character, Austin Rios won Distinguished Delegate as well. Chair Award General Assembly Brazil was given to Austin Rios and Tyler Poole, and the highest award of overall Midlands Cup 2024 went to Lexington High School. Boys State is now accepting applications. Please check your email for an application. Applications must be turned into the counseling office by March 15th. Please consider applying to join the Cat's Paw Yearbook staff. Check your email for the link for the application form, or you can come by C103B to pick up a hard copy from the yearbook door. Applications are due Friday, March 1st. Come help yearbook document Lexington High School's rich history through copy, photography, and design. Hi, my name is Callum Brewer from Lexington High School. In Lexington Technology Center, we are in machine tool technology. We are learning about writing programs to produce precision measuring tools. In machine tool technology, it is the sole trade. Without this trade, there would be no other trades or any technical certifications for that matter. And with a base salary pay of 60K a year, you could easily make a life out of this. This trade has produced my own skills to go to either Zeus or Midlands Tech and become a better machinist through them with their in-house training. I am career ready. Vote for your favorite South Carolina Young Adult Book Award nominee by tomorrow. Check your email for the link to vote. The next driver's permit test will be given after school on Wednesday, February 21st in the Little Theater. Students must sign up and bring the permission form signed by a parent. The LHS soccer team is now selling Cat's Kick Cancer bracelets. The game is tomorrow at 2.30, so any student who buys a bracelet will be able to check in with their fourth block teacher and then attend the game. The bracelet is your ticket to get into the stadium. Bracelets will be sold during all lunches for $5, and the money will go to Cat's Kick Cancer to help families in our school district who are battling cancer. Wildcat TV is proud to celebrate Black History Month. Every week, we will pick one of the best Wildcat TV segments celebrating Black History Month that we've done over the years. This week, we will take a look at 90s music. Come on, come on. I see no changes. Wake up in the morning and I ask myself, it's like worth living. Shut up. I frequent the spots that I'm known to rock. You hit a bass from the truck when I'm on the block. Late. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but today seems kind of... Throw your hands in the air if you're a true player. Bring it to the folks, Snoop Doggy Dogg and Dr. Dre is at the dope. Ready to make an entrance, so back on up, cause you know about We've all heard these lyrics and beats and their influence on music is undeniable. For this week in Black History Month, we are focusing on the decade of the 90s, the decade of rap and hip-hop. In the 1990s, rap became an increasingly popular genre of music across all races and introduced many African-American artists such as the Notorious B.I.G., Tupac Shakur, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, and Ice King, to name a few who would go on to make hit songs that gave power to the voice of African-American culture. Even to this day, 90s rap is still very popular and is widely listened to by all generations worldwide, and it helped influence modern rap artists such as Kendrick Lamar, ASAP Rocky, and Joyner Lucas. Reminder teachers, your doors for Black History Month are due tomorrow. They will be judged after school. For this week's Spirit Week, tomorrow is Pajama Day. That's all for today. Have a great day, Wildcats.